All right, guys, it is a totally different day. Our days are all messed up. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to hop on here because you guys haven't seen me in a while in the videos, besides in the background, moving some boxes around. Um, so obviously, as Emma stated, uh, I got sick. Um, I actually was sick uh, six days ago. So the day we moved, I got extremely sick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but my throat felt like I was swallowing glass. It hurt so bad to swallow. I had body aches, no fever, yada, yada. I was dying. Um, and I toughed it out for three days. So that was uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Sunday, I said, Emma, will you please drive me to the clinic? Because Mark was busy working on the garage trying to get everything to fit in the garage and yeah. So uh, today is actually the eighth uh, and my birthday was on the sixth. So happy birthday to me. Uh, but that was Sunday. <clears throat> that was Sunday and I was in the clinic. Uh, I did not get out of bed for days on end. I knew that the stuff needed to be done, but I knew if I didn't rest and take care of myself, I wasn't going to get better. So to make a long story short, I am just now, uh, on the eighth, which is day six, uh, just now feeling better. I'm still congested. I still have a cough. The sore throat has gone down. When I went to the urgent clinic, she looked at my throat and she said, holy crap, you have tonsillitis and there is so much pus in your throat. I don't know how you're even talking, swallowing, whatever. So I never thought to look at my throat. So I looked at my throat when I came home and holy cow. It was gross. Um, so that is all cleared up. I am on antibiotics. Emma more than likely had, so basically what they're saying is to get tonsillitis, you have to get a virus prior. So you probably had the flu and then that turned into strep or tonsillitis. It's probably the same thing that happened to her. Anyways, yes, I got sick, whatever, moving on. Um, it just sucks that it happened on moving day and on my birthday. So the girls have gotten me gifts. Uh, you'll see in the shopping video, I haven't edited that video because I don't want to see what they got before they give it and they're going to give it tonight. So we'll finish that video. But anyways, they're kind of, the videos are kind of all over the place because of me being sick. Um, but I wanted to just hop on here and share with you guys, um, some things about the house. Uh, some people have commented their hateful comments that the house is ugly. Um, they don't like this house. I don't care, right? Like, I know you're sharing your opinion and you're right. You're allowed to have your opinion. Um, none of us care that you don't like the house. Uh, none of us care <clears throat> whether you think it's a downgrade or not. Um, you know, downgrade to me on real estate is <clears throat> the amount of money you pay for my home. If you pay a million dollars for a home and then you go to a $300,000 home, that's a downgrade. Uh, we paid more for this house than we paid for the other one. And I don't care if you think that's stupid or ridiculous as well. This is where we belong. And, um, uh, I just wanted to hop on here because I have not been able to enjoy this home. Like I feel in my heart and I will have you talk to all everyone in the, in this house. This is the best move we have ever made. Um, this house feels homey. This house feels like our home. This house, there is something magical about this house. Will we ever move from this home? Absolutely not. Um, we've been in Florida since 2017 and we have not been able to find a home that feels like home. This house, Bible, feels like our home for the first time in how many years? Uh, this house feels like our home. 
and that goes for everyone. Like Ellie had her friends stay the night this weekend. Uh, Peyton and Gabby were here. And Peyton and Gabby were running around the house while nothing was unpacked either, by the way. And they're like, I love this house. I, this house is so, I love this house. Like this house is so homey. It is something about this house. I love it. And Ellie's saying the same thing. Emma is saying the same thing. <clears throat> Mark, he's a dude. He doesn't really share his emotions like that, but I know that he knows. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like I thought the bathroom was gonna be a problem, the girl sharing a bathroom. They're actually been getting along and there hasn't been really any fights. Everyone just loves this home. We love the neighborhood and this view. This, this view, I don't care what you say, I don't care what you think that this house is a downgrade, this is not. This, this is Florida, this, this is true Florida living. Um, it is beautiful to wake up to every single morning. It is gorgeous. I don't know what to tell you. I, I would buy this over any house in Florida over and over and over. So all that matters to us is that we are happy and we love this home. We are so excited to make this our home. We are so excited to, you know, do some DIYs. And there are some secrets and surprises that are coming. For example, we're building a tiny home. Everybody that complained that Emma didn't get her own space, we are building a tiny home. This property has enough land to put a tiny home on this side of the house. She will have her own space, own bathroom, own living room, own kitchen, everything, washer and dryer. <clears throat> It's getting done. I met actually with the builder today. We met for hours um, and he will be the one building it. Right now, no. Right now we are focusing on the dock, uh, outdoor living space. We're building uh, hanging hammocks and sand, like a sand area out to the water. Um, we're building a fire pit. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm sick and I don't feel good still, and I'm telling you this is the house. I am the happiest I've ever been uh, living in Florida. That's it. This surpasses Clearwater when we lived in Clearwater. Uh, I am so excited for the summer. The jet skis, a boat that we plan to get, um, the parties that we'll have friends over. This is the house. We belong here. The neighbors are amazing. They are so nice. Uh, they have a, one of them has a Frenchie and guess what the Frenchie's name is? Zoe. And she's black and white. Hmm. Stitch matter. Uh, guys, I am like geeky. Like I am giddy. Uh, I know it doesn't show. <laughs> Cause I do feel like crap, <clears throat> but I want you to feel it. Like I want you guys to experience this with us. We, Ellie is not switching schools, by the way. I know that's a common question. Um, her boyfriend lives at the end of the street. Just, I'm just saying like somebody listened and this is it. Um, uh, I am so thankful. I am so thankful I'm here. I am so thankful we bought this house. I am so glad we're out of there. This is home. This is so home. But yeah, I'm so excited. So, uh, I will take you around a bit and show you what has gotten done so far. Is the kitchen's ugly? Sure. Is the bathroom ugly? Sure. But wait till you see this house when we're done. You have no idea. Uh, this kitchen won't even look the same. Walls are coming out. Um, and actually the dock will be done in 10 months. Uh, everything's already in play. Uh, the kitchen will be done in seven months. And then the girls' bathroom is getting redone to have double vanity. <clears throat> I'm telling you, we love this home. So anyways, I'm gonna finish uploading my video. Oh, it's actually done. I'm gonna put it up right now. Uh, and then I will take you guys around. I apologize about my voice and my stuffy nose sound. Um, I'm doing the best I can, I promise. We're all exhausted. But I just want every single one of you that have been here with us from not even just the beginning, halfway through, 
I just want you guys to know we are so freaking happy. It's amazing. Anyways, I'll show you some stuff in a minute. Okay, so so far I have this. Look at that view. Mwah. Anyways, I have this set up. Nothing, whatever. Uh, the ginormous, and when I mean ginormous, look at this. Ginormous family room is almost set up. I mean, the couch, uh, table needs, a, or TV needs a stand. I still haven't put no knickknacks, but oh, look at that view. Mwah. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Yes, it's ugly. I don't care. Don't waste your time commenting it. I know it's ugly. Anyways, uh, we may do with what we have, right? Yes, that has to go there because there's no room. Do I care? No. Anywho, um, pantry is looking stocked and amazing. But yeah, so that is the kitchen update. Laundry room is a kind of carryover of a pantry, but it's okay. It's okay, right? Like, nobody's judging my canned goods. This stuff isn't staying. Currently working on this closet here. This is still a disaster. This is the area we work. Uh, but it's getting there. Uh, Tyrone is in the guest slash office. I got this. I've been working on this as well. Uh, I am, Emma is taking this bed, so she's going to have a queen now. So she's taking this bed. I am selling her bed, and I ordered a cabinet bed, like a uh, Murphy bed that goes in here. So that'll be amazing. Uh, family room. Uh, formal living room, sorry. It's a mess because this is, again, where we're working. But I'm currently working on this closet, and that closet here is our... Uh, guest bath, which again, I know it's ugly, don't care. All right, this area is a disaster. It's been the last uh, thing I've been working on, but I got these shelves in. They are little, they're little basket things. Super cute. I got four of them. And yeah, so that way we have place to put our stuff that doesn't fit up here. So it's getting there. It's a work in progress. A bathroom is still a mess. Okay. Um, bedroom is still a mess. Uh, update with the movers. There's this white shelf that Mark's antiques were on. They broke it. So they're repairing it. So we can't put any of his antiques away until, yeah, they fix it. This <laughs> is our other walk-in closet. That is going to store my clothing for my store. But I don't know how we're going to do this. So... We just leave this here for now. But yeah, um, Emma and Ellie can update you on their rooms when they get home. Uh, <clears throat> the painters are outside painting. Uh, we are not showing the outside of this home. But um, as you can see, um, the outside of the home is orange, burnt orange, very ugly. Uh, and we are in the process of painting it white and black. So I will show you what this looks like when it's finished. Um, these pavers here in the pool were sinking. Uh, so they fixed this. Uh, that was done yesterday as well. And this is our dock uh, right now. It will be 32 feet long when we're done with a boat ramp and jet, or boat lift and jet ski lift. This area down here, um, I'll show you. Ooh. This area down here where those gray pavers are, this will all be pavers to about right there. There'll be a fire pit, seating. All these plants are coming out so you can see the water. I will have a, a row of sand here. And then over in this corner is gonna be sand uh, with palm trees that are curved and hanging hammocks and a hangout. I'm telling you guys, this house is going to be amazing. You just wait and see. For all those people saying downgrade, ugly, you're going to eat your words. Just so you know. But anyways, um, 
I'm, my phone is going off like crazy. This house is very hard to film in because the lighting is so bright here. Um, but yeah, so I, when the girls get home, Emma's filming a video for her channel right now, and Ellie is still at school. So when they get home, I will have them update you on their rooms and whether they like the house or not. We'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, I'm back. I was reading some comments on today's video and uh, Jay said, downgraded to be honest. Emma had her own bathroom and now she shares with her sister. How does that work? LOL. And the other house was so much nicer and so much better. So, <clears throat> I wanna clarify for everybody. And I know not everyone will watch this video, but in Florida, you buy real estate for location. <clears throat> you can have the tiniest house be worth $2 million if it's on the water. You can have a tiny home on the beach. I'm talking, vlogging. Uh, you can have a tiny home on the beach that costs you $3 million. What you all don't understand is you buy real estate for location in Florida. We are literally three minutes, three minutes by car to the ocean, to the beach, whatever. We are 10 minutes by boat to the ocean on our water. So I don't care what anyone says. This house is the best investment for us. This house will have so much value 10 years down the road, six years down the road, because it's on the water. Everybody that lives in Florida, not everybody, 90% of the people want to be on the water. They move to Florida to be on the water. It's plain and simple. So that's all I'm going to say. So, you know, Jay was wrong. Um, and then there was another comment. <clears throat> I like your old house better, but that's just my opinion. Um, same, to be honest. Me too, I'm gonna miss it. Same, it was bigger and more modern. First of all, we don't buy a house to have a bigger home, right? And it's more modern because it's updated. This will be way more modern because we're redoing all the kitchens and all the bathrooms. So, or all the kitchens. <laughs> The kitchen and the bathroom and I already talked about the tiny house so that solves the whole Emma issue <clears throat> I'm just saying like I can just tell you like I said earlier this is everybody Ellie's friends myself Mark they're all here now this is our favorite home is it not they've seen how many houses we looked at no I'm saying is this your favorite home that we've ever lived in yeah. Do you scratch your forehead? Uh, probably. Who knows? Yeah. Emma. What? Is this your favorite home out of all the homes we lived in? I mean, yeah. I like the first one we lived in, but... That was a rental. We didn't own it. Okay, I'm just saying like... I'm saying that we owned. Oh, yeah. Why? I'm just clarifying. That one I feel was <clears throat> actually smaller than this. It was. I mean, it had a bigger living room. That was only 2,200 square foot, yeah. that house. But the kitchen sucked. I like it. I like my room. I like the view, the sun. The light in this house, the people around here. I know, Ellie is at her friend's house right now and she walked to her house. I mean, yeah, their house. Yep. Uh, I ain't gonna sit here and explain it. I mean, yeah, the other house was nice, but we done what we done. We made <laughs> double our money off that house and turn around and put it in this enough. house. Man, that's a no-brainer right there. Right. You see my batteries? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit. Do I have a dock yet? We got a dock. Ain't got a boat left. Yeah, I already so, talked about what yeah. we're doing. That kind of stuff needs <laughs> done, but it'll be better then. But I'm you just know saying. What I'm thinking what? I could actually try to bring the jet skis here and ask Kirk if I can park them in there 
ask Steve if I can use his ramp, and we can just drop them. Go yeah. Uh-huh. You've Until talked we, to that neighbor? Yeah. I've talked to all of them. So anyways, I just want to clarify. For everybody that's arguing in the comments, every single one of us love this home. There isn't anything that we dislike. I mean, yes, things are ugly. It's plain and simple. We don't care. It's getting changed. You know, the kitchen was when I first seen it, but now that I've been here, it's really not bugging me as bad. Well, no, because our stuff's in it taking yeah. away from the ugliness. It's just the ugly cabinets, that's it. If there were white <clears throat> cabinets, it would be a different story. Well, you don't pay attention to the cabinets, guys. Put all that out there. Right. Yeah. This is what you pay attention to, right? This is exactly what you pay attention to. This, right here. You watch the boats go by every day. Our neighbors are fishing over here. I'm not gonna film them. But I'm just saying, this is, this is it. This is what you pay for in Florida. This is what everyone wants to live on. Once. No one can tell me that this house, to be honest, is horrible compared to the other home. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emma ain't got her own bathroom anymore, <laughs> but we'll all live. Yep. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I got done because I don't want this uh, video to be negative whatever. I'm just tired of reading the comments, to be honest. So I got my formal, oh, I'll come from here. I got my formal living room done. Bam, look at that view. Look at that view. You see it? Do you see the view? Right. A uh, formal living room. And again, this wall's coming down, so it'll be so different. But whatever. So, I mean, it's not done, but I'm working on it. This is still a mess, but less boxes. I got all of this cleared out. And I got this bathroom somewhat done. And I got all of my seashells back in the cabinet. So... This cabinet will go over there, right there, when this wall is down. But um, we met with the contractor today. Uh, we met with the contractor today, and they're seven months out. Uh, so our kitchen uh, won't be remodeled for seven you months. Down in here? Where? Yeah. Um, won't be done for like seven months. But anywho, we're okay with that because. The view, the view is a beautiful. I don't know what to tell you. And so is my new rug. Only because I'm on it. Anyways, I don't have to give the camera to each and every person. I'm just letting you know that all of us, every single one of us are in love with this house. If you're not, we really don't care because guess what? It really doesn't matter whether you like the home or not because you don't live here. And we are fine with it if you don't like it. We are fine with it. So anyways, I'm done. I will have Emma end this video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow back with another video. And uh, have a great night, guys. And for those of you that support us and always have positive things to say, we do 100% appreciate you guys. So, uh, thank you for that. Since we're doing updates on the house, well, did. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> also, it can dim. It's a very annoying sound, but. And then it can get brighter. Mm. <laughs> we got new ceiling fans. So my mom, like we were, I don't know where we were going, but she was like, look on Amazon for your fan. So me and Ellie on our phones looking up fans on Amazon. So Ellie sends the fan she wants to her, like the link. And then I sent it and she was like, you guys are dumb. You picked out the same fan. Like out of the million fans you can choose from on Amazon, we picked the same one. Clearly more more like than is shown <laughs> but um 
Anyways, I don't really know what this video is about. I'm pretty sure it's like the packing video we started like a few days ago and then she got sick and then we never finished it until today. So I think that's what I'm ending. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, that's the only thing really new with my room. Um, I think I showed you guys like what my room looked like when I was unpacked, but like I don't have any more boxes in my room, like all unpacked, except for this, that is, for a brand deal, but um, yeah. Um, updates with my room, I'm taking the guest bedroom bed, which is a queen. I have a full now, which will be nice. And the reason why I'm taking that is because my mom's getting like a fold out couch because that office is so small to be a bedroom. So she's getting like a fold out one. And so I'm just gonna take the queen just because like when Elizabeth visits, like a full fits us, but it's not like the biggest bed for two, even though I don't really like have anyone that comes over ever. I don't really have sleepovers. The only time I ever have a guest over is like if Elizabeth comes, but um, personally, yeah. So that's the only update really that is new. Um, with my room, I mean, yeah. We won't start decorating, decorating like rooms and everything um, for a bit, I feel like, just so we get settled in and everything. So for right now, my room is nice, but I love my room. So every time you're like looking at a new house, the room looks so much smaller until you put stuff in it. This room is huge. Like this room is so much bigger than the room I had in the old house and I love this room 10 times more. Like I am obsessed with it. I, it's just amazing. I love it. I think it's just because the ceiling is so high compared to my old room. And a lot of people are complaining. Well, I don't even know why they would be complaining because it's not like it's their life. Saying that, oh, I'm so sorry. Emma doesn't have a bathroom. Um, I don't really care because when my sister's getting older and we're a lot closer than we were like when we moved into our old house. So it'd be a different story. But me and Ellie never really get ready at the same time. Like she's already ready for the day at 6 a.m. I'm still sleeping. So we're never in the bathroom at the same exact time. And we have our stuff, stuff separated and everything. And like our perfumes are together now. And like, it's not really like a big deal. Like I can shower whenever and she can shower whenever. Like me and her have shared a bathroom before. Our old house was the first time that I've ever had my own bathroom. And honestly, I like sharing a bathroom. One, just because Ellie also has the responsibility of cleaning it up. So I don't only have, so like I don't have the responsibility of cleaning a whole bathroom. Like, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like now there's two people that have to clean it, not just one, you know, if that makes sense. But I'm okay with it. So no reason for people to keep commenting that because I'm happy with it. I actually love my bathroom. It looks really good for what it is right now. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you all very soon back for more videos. Bye guys. Oh, no.